2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. So the God of this Bible is telling us to gather ourselves together. I like when you, when the Father and Son come up here, woo, that's big. Because the, the, the Bible says that it's two of a family. Most people are not going to get this. This is understanding that people won't even stop me. Understand? Read. Yeah, gather together, a nation not desired. What nation on the earth do people not desire to be? What nation on the earth? Do people do not desire to be? That's my question to you. Who do people desire? Most people, huh? They revile us. Us. And the Bible calls us Israel. We ain't Africans, we ain't niggas. Today, you're going to learn. You are not a nigga, you're not a spit. I know people, they give you these terms. But you you hit a good um, a good answer. You said... Let me, let me uh, stay right here. You said confusion. Confusion. You don't like the confusion. You understand? We are gods. That's how we were created to be gods. And it's evident in life. Our knowledge, we have been prevented from reading for how many years? Yes, yet still we're rubbing shoulders with the smartest men on earth. Right? A basketball. Who runs the sports world? That's us. It ain't no competition. We are gods. But the confusion is division. Give me back that sign. I want you to understand something, right? God says we were gonna die like men, but we are gods. Here's one thing that confuses us, religion. Religion separates us from our God and from following our God into being gods. The religion, because this is confusion. These are white men. Hey, I'm not racist. These are white men. Right, right? And they are holding God's book. But yet still, they preach equality. But we at the bottom. Hold up. That's right. Hold on. How are we at the bottom when the white man cre preaches? 
teaches Christianity and God's book, and he says equal. See, but look, yeah, I, I understand that in the Bible it says that the ones that come as Christians, Jesus says those are not his followers. The peacemakers are his followers. You know what a true Christian is? What the word Christian is means? Uh, I don't got something to do with that man. Hey, I'm not it over. means a follower of Christ. Right, right, right. Christ is the anointed one. Right. Christians are the anointed ones. They follow Christ. What did Christ do? Guess what? Put this back. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is a black man. Right. And he had a beard. You know what happens when you wear a beard? It's a badge of manly dignity. Right. Boys and women don't have beards. Men have beards. What did they tell us to do in slavery? Shave everything off and they call us boy. Hey, give me the, the, the Leviticus. Hey, I'm going to show you something. You said we are from the earth. That is where we are from. Right? The first man was created from what? The dirt. The soil. What color? Black. North. Hey, give me Genesis. 126. I, I want you to get something in your head, people. That this Bible is on personal records. Mm -hmm. This Bible is not a book of religion. No, yeah. oh, no, bro. No. That's what the white man told us. But this book is our history book. In the beginning, the book of Genesis, listen what it says. Chapter 1. Genesis 1, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. I want you to understand. The gods said, let us make man in our image. The gods said that. They had a council and they said they're going to create man. And they're going to create them in the image of every last man in the council. Read it again. And God said, let us make man in our image and our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. We were the first rulers. So what does that say? If we have ears, eyes, mouth, God has what? And what color is he? Give me two and seven. Hey, this Bible is being preached by the Israelites to the Israelites. Because it's our book. Right. We're going to open the minds of our people to what the Bible says. We're not preaching for no money. We're not asking you for nothing. We're asking you to understand what God is saying to you. That's it. Watch. Genesis 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Why did he use the dust of the ground? Because he was black. That's right. And he used the soil to make a man. Mm. And he created the man to look like him. So, bruh, we are gods. That's but guess what? Freedom. He also gave us laws to follow. His laws. His will. He said, follow my ways. Guess what we did? We went the other way. We decided to follow every single booty walking down the street. When we were supposed to have one. We decided to kill our brother when we supposed to take care of our brother. Now, I'm, I'm telling you, the brother said this is beautiful. A father and a son. Because the, what we should do is guide our sons in the right way. That's all we got to try to do. But guess what? I'm thinking that you were doing it without this. I'm not saying you didn't do a good job because he's here, he's here I'm doing, I'm doing asking, asking a relevant question. You understand? But guess what? You got to follow this straight through. You understand? Our job is to teach our people. When you see our brothers and sisters walking around, don't be afraid to correct them. Go ahead. And this is back to, this is why I say the solution. I'm looking for the root. Yeah. For the root of it. What does Israelite mean? What does it mean to be an Israelite? Does that mean, does that mean you crossing over? Trans, transitioning from something? Yes, sir. What, 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 are we, what was that? I'm going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you. In slavery, what? give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 37. I'm going to show you. Hey, that's what we do. Hey, we are here for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We study to give answers. Right. We don't study to ask for, hey, give me a dollar. Throw your tithes. So, yeah, we don't want that. We want you to understand what we want, what God wants. You understand, bro? You got any questions? You got a question? 
Give me a question, I'm gonna answer them. Are they, are they targeting you guys on social media? You tell me. You tell me. There's a reason you ask that. Uh, but you tell me. Are they targeting us? Fair enough. Why? Well, you're, you're, are you, like, what are you seeing? I want to know, like, all you have social media accounts. Watch this. Right? We see the world through this Bible. They don't like that. So they are targeting us. But what's the what you got? Get, what I, but, I'm gonna come back to you because I was dealing with them. Sister, come on over. Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. What, what, God, what did God say was gonna happen to his people because they sinned? And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Now, an astonishment. When people look at you, they're going to be surprised. You know why? Because everybody in this world knows we're gods. But look at us now. Bro, I'm going to be straight. We plain and straight niggas. How could the gods of the earth be fallen so low to be niggas? How could the princesses of the earth be fallen so low to be niggas? So that the niggas are calling their princesses bitches. That's my bitch. That's my baby mama. No! That is what you call what? Read it again. And thou shalt become an astonishment. It's an astonishment for how the black man has fallen all the way from the top to where they at right now. Read. A proverb and a byword. You know what a byword is? That's exactly what you ask. What does Israel mean? Give me what Israel means and we're going to prove. A byword is being ca called outside of your God-given name. Bring it out! You know what they did in slavery? We were property. We were property. And we were branded names. Bywords. Because that's not our name. We got names like Brown, right. Miller, right. Williams. We got all of those names. White men names. That's not our name. What is our name? Our name is Israel. That's right. What does Israel mean? We gon' get it. You know? Read what you got. This is Genesis 32, verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Now, this brother's name was Jacob. But he wrestled with an angel. And the angel said, no, You're not gonna be called Jacob no more. I'm gonna change your name. Because of what you just did with me. Read. And he said, Thy name shall be no shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. But Israel, for as a prince hast thou had power with God. A prince with power and with men. That's what Israel means. So we got a royalty. Our name is royalty. That's right. You understand? That's our name. But guess what? Why would they change a royal nation? into being called because we didn't get called brown we were niggas but mr brown owned us we got that stamp mr brown owns this nigga but you are nigga but we were israel princes do you understand israel means a prince that has power with god and men because that's what we are gods that's right what's another question where's the brother he left you have a question sister sister we don't come out here to bash nobody. We come out here to edify and to bring our people to a different mindset. We don't want our brothers selling drugs. We don't want our sisters dressing like harlots and sluts. We don't want that. You understand? When you look at a sister, a black woman, the first thing that comes to your mind should not be sex. So that means she got to dress right. Give me that um, modest apparel. You understand? She got to change how she dresses so we don't think sex every single time. If you see a woman and all you see is two nipples sticking out, what's on your mind? That's right. If you see a camel toe, what's on your mind? She got to dress right. Guess what? Everybody afraid to tell the woman to dress right. Right, right. Not us. <clears throat> we gonna set our community in order. We gonna set our nation on the right path. They gonna hate us, but we don't give a damn. 
because we messengers of God. Watch this. Here's the message. First Timothy 2 verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So when we tell our women to dress modestly, that is a message of God. That is not my personal opinion because guess what? My personal opinion is, bro, I really do like to see that. You understand what I'm saying? But God is showing me a different way. So I've changed that mentality and I'm trying to tell my sisters, dress right. I don't want to see that. My job is when I, the only time I want to see that is when I look at my wife. That's it. Somebody got to stand up and rise for the children of Israel. Give me that in Psalms. You understand, bro? So we are the kings of the earth. We are. But this is the book that's going to guide the gods of the earth. Yep, you got more questions? You don't have to go. No, you don't. Why are you, where are you going? Where you got to go? It's right there. Where you picking it up? It's right there. What you talking about? You got two cameras? I'm just playing, bro. Hey, we out here until the sun go down. So if you pass us back, stop. You understand? Watch this. Psalms 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? You see people that rise up and against oppression, against evil? That's God's doing. He said, who will rise up for me against evil? Because he's against evil. What is evil? What is evil? Hey, bro, what is evil? Come on, man. Just tell me you don't want to talk to me, man. Don't tell me you don't know. I know you know what evil is. What is evil? Bad doings. What is evil? Bad doings. Hey, what is evil? What is evil? Tell me. Let's see. What is evil? Because he said, who will rise up for me against evildoers? Against the workers of iniquity. Watch this. First John 3 verse 4. Hey, you realize everything we go to the Bible? That's our foundation. We don't leave from it, and we don't go away from it. We don't stray from it. Before I knew the Bible, I would get locked up. I get caught by a woman that I was with when I was with another woman. A brother would come catch me with his woman. I'd be in a whole lot of garbage. The minute I started to look through this to live my life, that changed. I don't look behind my back no more. You understand? The cops are here to keep us in line. We shouldn't need the cops because we got a Bible. We shouldn't, but guess what? Ain't nobody following the Bible. So now we got cops. Whose fault is that? That's ours. So we can't complain when they're here. They are bad, doing bad things, but we still can't complain. You ever seen the purge? That's how the earth would be without the, the cops. Because we got niggas. We are trying to change the nigger mind to the Israelite mind. That's what we're trying to do. And guess what? We're not going to fail. Because we got God on our side. We got this book. Read. 1 John 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. Our job is to teach God's laws. Right? For you as a man. Leviticus. You got to grow that beard. You got to let it grow. Because guess what? I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. People look at you different when you got a beard. The bigger your beard, the more afraid they are of you. You understand? They are. I'm telling you. What's the most scariest creature in the, in the earth? A damn lion. You ever seen his mane? That thing is crazy. The bigger it is, you're like, ah, oh, damn, I'm not messing with him. Let that thing grow. Watch this. Leviticus 19 verse 27 Ye shall not round the corners of your heads Neither shall thou mar the corner of thy beard And that's what God says And that's what we teach You understand? And there's profit in that Because a beard is a badge You know what a badge is? It shows authority That beard shows authority 
It shows that you're no longer a boy and you're no damn woman. That's what it shows. That God said it. That's what I got. You feel what I'm saying? Energy. You're talking about energy, right? Yeah, you're right. But that's what we got to do. You just got to, hey, what does this say? Hey, hey guess what? I'm going to do it. Grow that beer. You want to be respected, black man? Grow a beer. That's the start. You want to be respected? Have one wife. Have children. Take care of that children. The white man will be scared out of his wits when they see a black man with a beard and a family. Taking care of his family and his wife, the white nation is scared of that beard. I'm telling you, when he see the sister having her kids and no father, he left that. Because that's separation of a nation. He don't want that. He does not want that. And our job is to bring this nation down. How? Through the word of God. Not through violence. Not through guns, bombs, none of that. We're going to bring this nation down by keeping God's laws. That's right. I feel like it's contradicting because that's not even our name at all. Ah, brother, but you wrong. And then there's a lot of words in there that definition. If you don't know what you're speaking, yes. then you'll fall astray. What is our native tongue? That's I'm going to tell you. Hebrew. That's Hebrew. But guess what? We stopped speaking Hebrew when we went into slavery in Babylon. We spoke their language. When we went into slavery to Assyria, we stopped speaking that language and we start speaking their language. Every single um, captivity we went into, we took their language. So guess why we speak English? Because that's their language. But guess what? It's also the language of the world. And because we know that God is taking care of his people, he made sure that his book was translated into the land, the language of the land. So his people could learn. Because whatever language it is in, we're going to learn what to do. You understand? When he comes back, we don't get our native tongue. We're going to get it back. Everything going to be as it was in the beginning. Right. The black man rule. No more taxes. We ain't going to work no night to five, bro. But we got to keep the laws of God. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.